Welcome ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a special one match special. Um, even though it's only one match, it's a big one nonetheless. And uh, anyway, um, it's great to be here and uh, just want to know how you guys are doing on the other side of the tube. But anyway, here's our match right here, right now. And we begin with Ken Shamrock. Now, this match is a fatal four-way match, scheduled for one fall, with no time limit. There must be a winner in this matchup. Uh, the winner is decided when he is the yeah. Uh, the winner is decided when the first man gets a pinfall or submission over any of his opponents. The first man to do that is going to be the winner. And as far as uh, Ken Shamrock is concerned, the thing is, he's a great submission wrestler. And he has to be able to isolate one of his opponents and get him in a submission hold. That's his best plan of attack. And then there's this guy. Yep, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek, and Trebek is getting down like James Brown, and I have to say, James Brown is a great entertainer. If you have not seen him in concert, go check him out, you know, especially since um, it's almost going to be the year 2000, but uh, as far as Alex Trebek is concerned... He's got to pace himself, but he also has to be careful not to get doubled and triple teamed during this matchup. If that happens, he will not last long, and it will be only a matter of a time before his opponents, you know, go after him and try to beat him. So he's got to he's got to pace himself, but he's also, but better yet, his best plan of attack is to capitalize on the mistakes of his opponents. And that's going to be his plan of attack. If he'll ever get that chance, I don't know. And his opponent... Oh yes. From the land of Pokemon... Here he is, the Thunder Mouse himself, Pikachu, as he summons the lightning from above. Anyways, well for him, the best way for him to win is to, well, first and foremost, he must not make too many mistakes during the matchup, and also, he's got to isolate one of his opponents and try to end this thing as quick as possible because the longer the match goes I would think that it can be anybody's game well you would think normally but then you have the fourth and final opponent and you'll see who he is in just a bit but Pikachu has the tools to win I mean he, he's got the strength he's got the speed he's got a little bit of everything that he has in his favor if only if it only was not for this man, as you're about to see right now. Yes. That's, that's gotta be Kane. That's gotta be Kane. And yes, the monster. The big red monster, as he calls himself, is the fourth man in this match. And his plan of attack is very simple. Just beat the hell out of everybody and make sure that no one interferes in terms of going for a pinfall or submission attempt. I mean, for Kane, he has to avoid getting triple teamed because he does not want to draw too much attention to himself as he already has. 
but for his opponents, yeah, they better double and triple team him, otherwise it's not going to last long for each of each and every one of them. Because, you know, Kane, he's that strong, he's that powerful, and the longer the match goes, it would have to favor Kane. So, those are the four individuals that have a chance to become the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. Anyway, match underway, and it looks as if Pikachu is going to go, well, never mind, Kane goes right after Pikachu. Meanwhile, Shamrock and Alex Trebek are going to go at each other. And for Pikachu, this is not, the, that you know, the man that you're going up against right now, or the guy that just pounded you, that's not the guy you want to fight, but unfortunately someone has to go up against Kane, and um, Kane is going to go right after Pikachu, so he, he's picked his target right now. On a backbreaker onto Pikachu, and Pikachu's a big guy. I mean, he's not really big, but he's pretty strong nonetheless, but even he cannot take that kind of punishment from Kane and expect to win. Inverted suplex onto Ken Shamrock. And, well, oh, and Kane made a mistake. He turned his back from Pikachu, and Pikachu took, from, took him by surprise from behind. An arm breaker onto Kane. Now, if you're Pikachu and you can go after the arm of Kane, do it. That'll definitely cut his attack power by half. Like, you take away his arm, you take away his ability to attack. And a whip into the corner goes, uh... Uh, Pikachu, and then a scoop and a slam by Kane. All followed up with a drop kick on the Pikachu, and now Kane is going to go right after Alex Trebek, and delivers a back suplex to uh, excuse me. He delivers a back suplex to Alex Trebek. So now it's Shamrock. <clears throat> excuse me, I had something in my mouth. Now it's Shamrock going up against Pikachu. A hip toss onto Pikachu. And wait, pinfall already won. No, broken up immediately by Kane. And that's the thing, uh, you know, that every single person, including Kane, has got to be aware of. You, you can't take your eyes off your other opponents for too long. Otherwise, they could get a pinfall or submission victory just like that. So you got to keep an eye out for your other opponents if you can. On a pounding by Kane onto Trebek. And uh oh, Pikachu is pissed. Flying forearm, a kip up, inverted atomic drop, and a scoop, and a slam right to Ken Shamrock. And wait, pinfall, one. No, kick out by Ken Shamrock. Hmm. Now wait, Ken Shamrock exits the ring and so does uh, Trebek and, well, okay, now it's just Pikachu and Ken Shamrock on the outside, but they cannot, they're not going to be able to win, they're not going to win the match on the outside, they got to win it inside. So they, they can fight outside the ring as much as they like, but that's not going to get it done in the ring and, oh, and a back body drop onto Ken Shamrock, tilt-a-whirl slam onto Alex Trebek. And Kane is going to go right outside the ring. And believe me, with rules as relaxed as this, this is going it, to... It's going to be a hell. It, it's going to be hell for all four of these men. And uh-oh. Oh, no. Don't do this. Don't do this. Kane, don't do this. Oh, my God! An elbow from off the top rope onto Alex Trebek. Through the table, breaking it in half and possibly breaking Alex Trebek in half, and yet he, somehow he managed to survive. I don't know how, but he did.
But anyway, Kane is back in the ring, which is probably the safest place you can be in. But right now, Kane, it's Kane and uh, Alex Trebek in the ring. And uh, so really the focus is on them. Power bomb onto Alex Trebek. And Ken Shamrock is beating Pikachu at uh oh, Alex Trebek is pissed. But Kane, of course. And uh oh, look at this. Tombstone pile driver onto Alex Trebek, and Alex Trebek has been busted open, and yet he had just enough wherewithal to get out of the ring. So this match continues, though. So now the fight has taken outside the ring. All four men are on the outside. And it's only a matter of time before someone gets inside the ring. I mean, you got to go inside the ring and win it that way. You can't win on the outside. There's no false count anywhere. This is not false count anywhere. This is a traditional four-way match in which the first man to get a pinfall or submission wins. But it looks as if Alex Trebek is in the ring, as is Kane. And Pikachu is not doing too well against Ken Shamrock. And Alex Trebek, oh wow, Pikachu just got rammed into those steel steps. And a nice drop toe hold face buster on the cane, but it's Alex Trebek's face that's... I mean, if you look at Alex Trebek, his face is but a crimson mask. Uh, a tribute to uh, the great Gordon Soli. One, note broken up immediately by Ken Shamrock. And wait! A sleeper hold on a Pikachu. All but broken up just barely by uh, Kane. I mean, what would have happened after that, I don't know. I mean, whether Pikachu would have submitted or not, we'll never know because Kane prevented it. Oh, and a rake in the eyes right to Kane. And wait, pinfall. One. No, kick out by Pikachu. A back suplex on the Pikachu and... Oh, that was an inverted suplex on the cane. An arm bar on the cane. And a, well, a pinfall attempt on Pikachu, but it didn't work. And, uh-oh, Pikachu's gonna do it! The Pokemon Bomb! Pokemon Bomb onto Ken Shamrock. Is that enough? One, two, oh, kick out by Ken Shamrock. That almost did it. And uh, I couldn't see what happened there because Kane was in the way. And uh, Pikachu, what the hell are you doing? Leg drop onto Ken Shamrock. And one, no kick out by Alex Trebek, as Pikachu just got clotheslined. And is that enough? One, no. Inverted atomic drop onto Ken Shamrock. Wait, pinfall in the ring. One. No. Kick out by Shamrock again. I mean, Pikachu has the right idea. I mean, he has Shamrock in the ring all by himself. All to himself. Wait, pinfall again. Oh, but a rope break this time. So there is a rope break. So, uh, yeah, you gotta center him inside the ring uh, if you're gonna win. Meanwhile, well, never mind. And wait a minute. Another tombstone pile driver to Alex Trebek. So now the action has slowed down quite a bit. Although it looks as if Kane is uh, the one 
not doing too well. I mean, I would have thought that Kane would have dominated, but uh, it doesn't seem to be that way, however. One. Oh, kick out by Alex Trebek. Ooh, and a nice punch right to Kane. One. Two. Oh, kick out just barely by Kane. And now it's Shamrock going right back to Alex Trebek. And now the monster, Kane, going right after Pikachu. On a big scoop slam onto Pikachu. One. No, kick out by Pikachu. Oh, and a series of punches right to Alex Trebek. I mean, Trebek cannot defend himself. And a back suplex on to Pikachu. Right now, all four men have got to be hurt right now. But remember, only one man can win. Oh, and rammed into the other steps was Pikachu. By Kane. And now, uh-oh. Ken Shamrock with a chair in his hand. Oh, but he drops the chair for some odd reason. I don't know why. Wait a minute. He's got the sleeper hold. He's got the sleeper hold. And, um, okay, the camera was spazzing out a little bit, but... Ken Shamrock with the sleeper hold. And, oh, and... Alex Trebek just could not take the punishment anymore. And there's that isolation uh, strategy I told you about. He had Trebek right where he wanted him. The other two were too busy fighting each other. And the result was that Alex Trebek tapped out. And the winner and number one contender is Ken Shamrock. So for Ken Shamrock, this is huge. And, I mean, this is big for him, to say the very least, because uh, he was not exactly on a winning streak coming into this match. But congratulations to Ken Shamrock, nonetheless. So with that, in, so with that said, uh, that's going to do it for our show. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, this is Tuju signing off. Have a great day, everybody.